Greetings from Geneva. My name is Daniel Poon, and I graduated from the School of Public Policy and Administration in 2006. And today, on this uh, beautiful March day, you find yourself at the main entrances of the UN offices in Geneva. And I thought I would uh, take this opportunity to give you a, a very brief walking tour of the, of the Palais des Nations as I describe a bit about uh, my experiences at, with, at the school and, and afterwards. And, and I suppose my uh, post uh, uh, my post-graduation career path has been a, a, bit, a bit of a winding road in the sense that I started out as an intern at the Canadian Embassy in Beijing for about a year. And then following that, I, uh, I, managed, I, I received a fellowship with the Walter and Duncan Gordon Foundation. And that allowed me to spend uh, half, the, half of that year in Beijing with the Chinese Academy of Social Sciences and also in uh, South Africa with a think tank called Trade Industrial Policy Strategies based in Pretoria. Um, and throughout that time I, I was doing a, a number of uh, short-term contracts to, to kind of keep me going. But it wasn't really until 2011 that, that I landed uh, a more permanent research position, uh, a more stable research position with the North South Institute. And that lasted for about two years before I made the jump uh, to here and to Angtad. And the story of that jump is, uh, sort of is a bit interesting in the sense that I had written a paper while I was with the North South Institute about uh, China and its role in, in uh, the re revival of, of uh, South South economic relations. And I was, uh, someone suggested to me at the time that I should send that paper to people here. And I did. And initially there was no response, which wasn't really that surprising. Uh, but then, about a month later, out of the blue, I get an email from uh, one of the directors here asking me for if I was av available to come for three months. And of course, I, I left at that opportunity. And that three months has uh, been extended. Hello, has been extended uh, a number of times, and and I'll see how long I, uh, that will last. Uh, but in terms of thinking of what I find uh, rewarding about this position, well. First of all, is, is uh, I think that I'm very fortunate to be able to work on ideas that I, I developed and uh, were, were uh, instilled in me w during my time at the school. And uh, to that I owe a great thanks to Manfred, Professor Manfred Bienefeld, who is my mentor throughout the program and, and still now, uh, for, uh, for giving me a set of ideas and analytical uh, frameworks in which that I continue to use to this day in my everyday work. Secondly, uh, it's taken some time for me to uh, adapt uh, from working at a small NG think tank to a much larger one. And uh, it's uh, UNCAD's sco scope of its policy work and advocacy is, is truly global. And the fact that developing countries expect to uh, turn to Ted for, for policy advice uh, is both uh, very humbling and and, and motivating. Uh, and thirdly, I would say that uh, the, the, the limited discussions uh, that I've had so far with uh, country delegates, uh, especially given their interest in, in China and, and how it does what it does and economically, uh, I find that also very challenging and rewarding because is that, that exchange of ideas that perhaps could have an influence uh, at the national level with decision makers. And so I hope you've enjoyed this, this brief tour, and I thank you very much. Bye.